In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can add and subtract rational expressions that already have a common denominator. As a quick review, when adding and subtracting with integers, or sorry, rash, ra rationals, fractions, when we already got a common denominator, we keep that common denominator and we add the numerators. 3 plus 7 is 10. At the very end of the problem, we'll double-check to see if we can reduce the fraction at all. 10 and 8, we see, are both divisible by 2, giving us 5 fourths for our final solution. We'll follow much the same pattern as we add rational expressions with a common denominator. We have x minus 4 over the denominator x squared minus 2x minus 8 being added to x plus 8 over the same denominator x squared minus 2x minus 8. Since this is... they both have the same common denominator, we'll keep the denominator x squared minus 2x minus 8 and add the numerators together, which is simply combining like terms. x plus x is 2x, and negative 4 plus 8 is positive 4. Same as regular fractions, when we're done adding them together, we want to check to see if it can reduce. To reduce a rational expression, we know we must factor first so that we can divide out factors that are multiplied, not terms that are added. The numerator has a GCF of 2, leaving behind x plus 2. In the denominator, we would use the AC method, multiplying to negative 8, adding to negative 2, which would be 4 and negative 2. How about negative 2? I'm sorry, negative 4 and positive 2. There we go. That works better. Make sure the signs work. Because there's a 1 in front of x squared, we are allowed to jump right to the factors of x minus 4 and x plus 2. Sure enough, there is reducing in this problem in that the x plus 2's divide out, leaving our final answer of 2 over x minus 4. Let's try one more example, this time a subtraction problem. With subtraction problems, we want to make sure that we are subtracting the entire fraction, not just subtracting 15x, but also subtracting negative 6. Just as when dividing, we multiply by the reciprocal, we will also change our subtraction problem to an addition problem, and add the opposite of the numerator. The opposite of 15x is negative 15x, and also the opposite of the negative 6 being positive 6. Now that it's an addition problem, we also have a common denominator of 3x minus 6. Let's keep that denominator, and now we can add the numerators. 6x minus 15x is negative 9x. Negative 12 plus 6 is negative 6. Be careful to resist the temptation to divide out the 6's. Remember, when we're reducing, we reduce factors, not terms. Terms are added and subtracted, like the 6. We cannot reduce until we factor first. In the numerator, there's a GCF of negative 3, leaving behind 3x plus 2. Over, in the denominator, there's a GCF of 3, leaving behind x minus 2. Now, we can divide out the factor of 3 in both the numerator and denominator, leaving negative 3x plus 2 over x minus 2 for our final solution. When subtracting with a common denominator, be sure you distribute the negative through, so that we're adding. Then, we keep the denominator and add the numerators. Always check to see if your final answer reduces by factoring and dividing out common factors.